is restless. The two-year-old Belgian Malinois is keen to get to his training session, but what goes on behind this door is hidden from the cameras. Thor isn't like other dogs, and his training isn't conventional. His acute sense of smell makes him the perfect candidate for a new trial. He's learning how to detect breast cancer. At each session, he's given two sets of wipes. One has come into contact with the sweat of women who have the cancer or with the tumors themselves. The other hasn't. Thor has to work out which is which. He doesn't see a difference between the samples. He does it with his sense of smell, because that's how we've trained him. It tells him that there's something to notice, something that he started to recognize, and if he wants to get his reward, he should sit down in front of this jar. So it's like a game. The training's intense. Thor and another dog complete 15 sessions a day and will smell hundreds of samples over the coming months. And it was here at the Curie Institute in Paris that the idea was born. The scars caused by tumors have an unpleasant smell. I was doing research to try to understand why they smelt bad, so we could find a solution. But through this, we realized that some strong smelling compounds must be linked not to the infection or to the metabolism of the person, but to the tumor itself. Patients don't come into contact with the animals, which are hundreds of miles away in the Haute-Vienne region of France. Instead, they're given a kit to take home, an odorless shower gel, some wipes in a sterile pot. The patients put the squares of fabric on themselves and leave it overnight, a method which could revolutionize breast cancer screening in France. 40% of women who choose not to take part in free screening programs could join the K-Dog program because it's less scary than mammograms. There's no men in white coats and no pain. The team will analyze the first results after six months, and if the findings are positive, they'll undertake clinical research on a larger scale. In America, a similar study to detect prostate cancer had a success rate of more than 90%. And with no need for expensive equipment, this method has the potential to reach countries with far fewer resources in the future.